for real. So, you know, it's going to be fun. You know, they're going to come after us. But, uh, you know, we're going to work really hard this week, practice, do a lot of, you know, watching film and stuff like that. So, What's the rivalry meant to you, you know, growing up and then since you've been here? How much has it really grown on you? Well, as a Mississippi kid, you either, you know, go here or go there. So, you know, for me, I came here and, you know, it's worked out for us in the last couple of years. Uh, we just got to keep executing and doing the little things to, you know, help us keep uh, improving and winning. I know that you and Chad have kind of gotten some friendly or not so friendly messages this week already. And Bo Wallace has to just talk about that side of it. Uh, you know, that just that just makes it, you know, more fun. You know, just having the fans get in it, you know, on both sides of the, you know, of the, of the teams and stuff like that is just, you know, it's a heated rivalry. Everybody gets into it. Uh, you know, all the records go out the window for this game. So, uh, you know, it's going to come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes. You don't respond to those messages, do you? I don't know. Get that number. number changed yet? No, I ain't got it changed, but, you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> Keep the phone <laughs> off this week? I mean, that's got to be here. Yeah, you just, I mean, it doesn't, it just kind of motivates me. It doesn't really, it doesn't get to me or anything. I don't really see the point in doing that. I mean, <laughs> Let you know you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if they weren't texting me or anything, then I would feel bad. But they are, so <laughs> they must be doing something well. So and you think this is team. maybe the most heated one yet because of, of Ole Miss? I mean, the past couple of years you guys have kind of obviously held the upper hand, and last year they were kind of new coach coming in, didn't know who, you know what was going to happen. But you know, they're one win away from bowl eligibility. They need this one pretty bad, and you guys obviously want to keep that egg bowl truck. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, if they got a new coach. You know, he established a lot of confidence in those guys. They played pretty well this year. So, uh, you know, they're going to come out and give it everything they got against us, and we're going to do the same. So, like I said, it's going to come down to whoever makes the least amount of mistakes. And um, you just got to go out there and execute. How much chat are you here back in Meridian? A good many Ole Miss fans down there? Yeah, so it's a bunch of Ole Miss fans. What do they, do they talk to you? I haven't really heard it from anybody there. So. What's kind of working for you? I mean, you guys were able to pretty much do what you wanted to in Arkansas. I mean, South Bend seems to be hitting a pretty good gear right now. Uh, it just goes back to watching film, uh, knowing what the off, what the defense is trying to do to me and the offense. So, uh, you know, you just got to execute on the little things. They might do one blitz, and you might see it one time all day. You got to execute it and, and score a touchdown. They won't do it again. So that's just finding little things like that. Have you seen film or, or seen Ole Miss on television at all? Uh, I watch some little film. But, you know, we'll watch more over the week. Is the first thing maybe that jumps out at you just how small their front four is, but how quick it is as well? They play I mean, smaller, quicker guys. Yeah, I mean, they have a really good defense. So, I mean, we got to go play. It's, you know, we just got to go out there and execute. I feel like if we do the things we need to do, you know, we'll take care of business. If we're not, we won't. So, You guys have done so well in the option game against Ole Miss the last two years. Do uh, you think you guys might pepper that in a little bit more this week just to keep them honest? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm about to go to meetings here in a minute and get the game plan and stuff like that, so we'll see. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but, you know, whatever coach, you know, thinks we should do, that's what we do, and we'll execute it. Perkins obviously had a good game this past week. It uh, kind of goes back to what we saw against Ole Miss the last two years of him catching passes and scoring touchdowns. I think he's averaging like 200-plus yards, even as a backup against Ole Miss. What is it about this game for him? I don't know. He's done well in the last, you know, couple games against those guys, so... Uh, you know, he's done really well for us this year as a starter. So uh, and it's hard to, you know, defend the run and the pass, especially, he, you know, he's really good at catching the ball out the backfield. Is it good? It's good. I mean, it's obviously good to have that, that pass option, but it gives some, Ole Miss something else to think about that we haven't necessarily seen the last, you know, few, few weeks from Ladarius. Yeah, definitely. Did you find the Ladarius has that wide receiver mentality? What? I think so. He knows if he gets matched up on the linebackers, not too many linebackers in the SEC that can cover him. Yeah. And I trust him, and he'll go up and make a play for him. I mean, that catch he made, I'm sorry, that, catch, that first touchdown catch he made, the guy's hanging all over him. I mean, that's, a lot of wide receivers would have trouble with that one. Yeah, I mean, he does you know, excellent job you know, with, you know, with his hands and you know, positioning his body the way he needs to to catch the ball.